Ah, oh, damn it. This is an inhumane criminal law. Half of the woman's body is buried in the soil, waiting, killed alive by a stone. The first one to do it was her biological father. Next is her husband. Then came the two sons. The immense pain of the mind and body make women cry loudly. The onlookers raise their arms and cheered. Women tremble and tremble, dare not speak. Next, all the men in the village grab the stones. Let's hit him together. This incident lasted for three hours. The woman has already been smashed into a puddle of meat. But what exactly did a woman commit? To be punished with such cruel criminal law, the woman's name is Soleya. Born in a remote small village in Iran, the idea of prioritizing men over women is extremely serious here. Soleya was sold by her father to the local police officer Abor at the age of 12, and gave birth to two children and two daughters for Abiyao, although Soleya diligently takes care of her family. But the profound idea of male superiority and female inferiority in Abiyao's bones makes him not satisfied. Frequent abuse of Soleya. Recently, Abiyao had the idea of divorce, because he fell in love with the daughter of a prisoner. The girl is young and beautiful. Soraya for aging and aging in proportion, he had long wanted to kick the prisoner away, promised that as long as Abiyao saves him, so he married his daughter to him. Actually, in the local area, polygyny is legal, but Abiyao doesn't have the money to support two wives, so he chose to abandon Soraya and his two daughters, I don't even want to pay a dime for alimony. To this end, he found the village elders to help persuade him, ask Soraya to initiate a divorce, so Soraya will have to clean up and leave the house. But Soraya firmly disagrees, although the two have already lost their relationship. But after the divorce, he was helpless and couldn't afford to support his two daughters. Soleya didn't make any mistakes. The reputation in the village is also very good. Abia can't find a reason to divorce his wife at all, can only punch and kick Soleya, vent one's anger. Soleya took her daughter to hide at her aunt's house. Auntie is the only independent woman in the area, but I have no choice but to deal with Soleya's current situation. That very evening, the wife of the village mechanic passed away due to illness. He has a son with intellectual disabilities who needs to be taken care of, so he proposed to let Soleya be the nanny. Soleya readily accepted the job. With income, he can support his daughter, and then divorce Abiyao. But Abiyao couldn't wait anymore. He saw Soleya and the mechanic's hand touching each other. An evil idea arises spontaneously. A man beats his wife on the street. Just because my wife accidentally touched the hands of other men, and the reason why he did this, because I want my wife to leave the house clean, marry another young and beautiful wife can be found in their country. A woman who is unfaithful will be sentenced to actual punishment. But Abayo doesn't care about Soraya's life or death at all. To achieve the goal, he gathered the elders in the village to help spread rumors. Say, Soraya and the mechanic have some tricks. Arriving at the mechanic's house again, threatening the life of the mechanic's son, forcing the mechanic to admit that Soleya's seduction of his son was a weakness of the mechanic, under all kinds of helplessness, can only agree, except for the details deliberately fabricated for him, such as, Soleya once slept in his bed, such as, Soleya once told the mechanic, love words that can only be spoken to the husband, after all it's the testimony of a mechanic, Soleya was completely labeled as disloyal, Abiao immediately reported the matter to the village chief, in this small village, the words of the village head can determine life and death. The village chief brought someone to the mechanic's house for verification. The mechanic taught him what Abiyao said, said it to the village chief once, insisting that Soleya was the one who seduced him. Soleya firmly denies. He doesn't understand why the mechanic slandered him, but his denial is so pale. Except for my aunt, no one believes it at all. The village head certainly doesn't believe it either. After all, which man, will you accuse your wife of adultery all over the street? That must be the truth, unless Soleya can provide evidence. Soraya was already in tears, what is unnecessary is where there is evidence. This was originally an unfair trial, the mistake is that he's a woman. The village chief summoned the elders for a meeting, discuss how to dispose of Soleya. Soon, the verdict of the men's trial comes out, sentenced by Soleya's biological father, punishing Soleya will result in actual punishment. Upon hearing this result, the men in the village were instantly excited. The aunt who received the notification attempted to escape with Soleya. Just a few steps away, he was surrounded by men with weapons. Soleya accepted her fate. Farewell to the two daughters at the end. But the son looked at Soleya with hatred, burst out the door without listening to his explanation. All the men in the village started working. Older ones are digging pits. Young men choose sharp stones, until the entire cart is filled. Soleya lo lower the hood, revealing a pure white wedding dress. Then he was tied up with his arm and buried in a one meter deep pit, becoming a living target. Women wearing wedding dresses, but the lower body is buried in the soil. Her husband picked up the stone, go straight to him, next is his biological father, then came his two sons, as if their beloved mother was no longer in front of them, but rather the villains who have tarnished the entire village. Soraya was speechless in pain, the women gathered together shivering and trembling, men cheering and jumping, raise the stones in their hands one after another, throw it at Soleya. The pure white wedding dress was dyed red with blood, Soleya died in this despicable feudal farce, no one in the village gathered his body for him. Finally, there was a passing theatrical troupe, 
covered him with a blanket. Night. Auntie will transport Soleil's body away, but those who have been sentenced to death are not eligible to settle down in the land. The body can only be thrown by the river. Abia failed to marry a beautiful wife, because that prisoner was sentenced to death. Exhausted effort turned out to be nothing. The next day, Auntie came to bid farewell to Soleil, discovered that his body had been eaten by wild dogs. Only a few bones are left. This day, a French journalist is coming here. Auntie wants to make the crimes here public through reporters, but if the man in the village finds out, I will definitely do my best to prevent it. There may be danger for journalists. Hence, Auntie took advantage of the reporter's break, intentionally throwing away a piece of paper. Reporter, take a look. There's actually a human jawbone inside. He realized that things were not simple. Secretly visiting my aunt, my aunt told the reporter about Solea. The reporter finished listening to this story in tears and recalled the tape properly. He wants to go out and expose this vicious incident, etc. When the reporter wants to leave, the village chief has already blocked the entrance with the men, directly smashing the tape. Just let the reporter leave. However, Auntie has already saved a hand. He handed the real tape to the reporter. The journalist swept away from the dust. Auntie raised her arm. Seems to be welcoming freedom and liberation. Soraya, who was executed by stoning in the movie changed from a real event. This story was later written into a book. It was made into a movie again in 2008. This film is not meant to provoke public anger, but praying for a beautiful blessing. Dear, Soraya wish. A gentle breeze can blow up your beautiful long hair. May the fresh blood not turn red. Your pure white dress. You are a beautiful woman. It's not a selfish original sin.